I can see that just being one where if you're a little faster, you're a little rushed, and you end up slipping. <laughs> like catch is, is the same shit. It's just getting here, one, two, right? Or just like here, hands finish. But that same idea of attack the edge. Right now, like this is catch, so I'm attacking, and the key is attacking the edge wide enough so he can't touch me. I'm not attacking here, where if he's two yards off, I don't want him to do a step and punch. Here, he has to chase me. Boom, boom, finish tight. Now I want to win inside, what do I do? I just attack here, I wait for him to shoot hands, I finish inside. Does that make sense? Like that catch, it's so easy. I'm attacking this edge, attacking this edge, attacking this edge, finishing tight. The key is finishing tight. So if you want to go inside, you still attack an outside first? No, you attack a little tighter. So now, but when you're going outside, you attack an edge you can't reach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you go inside, you attack an edge you can reach, you okay. wait for him to reach for it, and you play off of him. Yeah. No one is going to shoot him. Yeah. You can speed release out there, I can run out there. Now you know you got to win inside, you slow it down a tick, you attack a little tighter. No one, I'm shooting those hands, just play off. Right, like we want to bait that guy to use his hands. The split part is almost like waiting for him to use those hands and have a plan for him right away. That's the timing of it. If I can come here and get those hands off, like that's what he's fucking really fucked. <laughs> this guy happened more suddenly. This one slowed down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Bring that shit to balance right away and get out. Right away and get out. Make it that first drill. Then I'm pushing off, it's getting just to the outside edge, and I'm fighting through hands. You don't have to get too far to get to the outside edge. That's better, Wani. Hey, just watch that, get, get one more, and just watch that inside leg coming a little too far. Which one? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Get it right underneath you and go, because that's got to be that leg that I push off of. Boom, get it right down, and then you're going to get a little more width. Okay. There you go. Stay locked and do it again, right? Like now you're getting a little tired. We've done this a lot. I gotta keep that suddenness. My mechanic gotta be on point. This is the hard part of these releases. Not come up with something fancier. Yeah, that one was really good. You got that was the best your base has been on this side. That one was really good. One more of those. Stay locked into it. The fourth quarter now, you got like fucking 15 more releases to win as you win the game. Good job. Hell yeah. Take your time now. Now I start thinking ahead, right? I have one inside, I have one inside. Now I'm taking control of this shit. Taking that immediate outside release, right? That slide release that I know he can't match. That's what's gonna get him on his heels and fuck him up the whole game. This isn't one I'm overusing, but knowing every time I go to it, he can't stop it. Right? This is like when Jordan needs a bucket, he's got that move. He goes, he don't go to a shit that He goes to a shit that fucking bucket. We just gotta learn to control it as best as we can, you know? That was probably the best timing it's been, bro. Like the most, like, watch this shit. This is the most fluid the timing for. The timing of it is perfect. That's the exact timing. I want you to finish even tighter. Exaggerate that and finish. Like, I want to see you finishing right at the camera. Right back to it. Yes. Either gonna be here, right? And, and, you can, and it's even like you're probably a little wider, so it's not that even step and punch. It's like either here or you can go, and it's here. Just depending on if I want to really step to you and be aggressive or if I take a step back. Pants. Uh, now this is outside leverage. Right, so hey, so here's the other part of the real chest. See what I'm saying? With like a chest coming forward a little bit, inside foot gets a little wide. I can see that just being one where if you're a little faster, you're a little rushed, and then you end up slipping. I like the I like the width. I think you can just step vertical more with that second step. That second one, not you know, right? Yes, the, no, the left the left one. That one. Right there, step more vertical there. Yeah, that's where he's at, right? So step through his crotch with it. You don't have to step all the way in there. You know what I'm saying? And then I'll give you more ability to get out. Oh, that's a fucking huge difference, bro. Good shit. That was better? Way better. That felt better? Yeah. You were way easier getting out. And like, think about it. You're outside. What you going to do is step and punch. You're timing your hip shifts and your hands up with it. That's when he's most vulnerable. Like, we get so afraid of the punch, but if we hit, if we attack the punch, what happens to a fighter when he swings? He opens himself up. Just have a fucking plan for hands. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh.
we you want to give him the shoulders, but if you give more to the inside, you'll be more balanced, right? Give that natural wiggle. I don't want so much weight. You're a little too stepping too far inside, you're a little too wide. You have too much momentum on that inside, so it's taking a little too long to get out. Just because you want him to believe it doesn't mean you have to overdo it. You know what I'm saying? Like give the wiggle, but he's not fighting on you. He's not fighting on you overstepping. He's fighting on the action. Does that make sense? Yeah. Fucking with these rappers might get tricked. Don't believe it. I made it out with Evans. This and I received it. Blessings that he is. Blessings, yes I did. And Sonny missed me because I lost my vision. Stay, I know you won't. Want to know what those shoulders inside does? It softens him up, bro. Because he has to step back on this. He has to respect this now. You know what I'm saying? Like that yeah. step matters now. That step, I feel that step more. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. he's got to respect that. Yeah, if you don't okay. give me that, then he's just not going to respect that first step. And that's when you run into him. Those shoulders back and forth are key. That, yo, he, he that's the one right there. And again, right? When that release doesn't work, it's because of shit like that. Like it's just continuing to reiterate in the past, you just to find a new release. You know, how do I make this release work? I know this shit can work if I execute it perfectly. It's got to be your mindset. How do I make my go to release work? Think the streets easy. Man, this shit is easy. Hell yeah. We done. Hell yeah. That's the key for everything. That's the key for everything, bro. Like, he had to feel that first step. Hell yeah. Great work. Great work. Let me see that one. You know what I'm saying? Because he's feeling that first step now. So, like, when, he, when, that, when you actually commit to that first step, like, think about what he's going to do. You're trying to get inside. You need him to fucking step here. You need him to step inside to open this back up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's fucking beautiful, bro. Yes, sir. So, Sunday. From the sidelines, we gotta hustle cause we gotta eat. From the sidelines, we got some goals that we still gotta reach.